Welcome to tutorial number one of the Excitemap Unity integration into the Unity Bootcamp demo. The goal of this tutorial series is to have a soldier exploring the whole bootcamp map by using the Excitemap Unity plugin. As you can see, we start with the clean bootcamp demo which can be downloaded from the Unity Asset Store for free. In this first tutorial, I show you how to import the Excitemap package, to set up a NavMesh build, and finally, to generate a first initial NavMesh. Before we begin, we check out what the bootcamp demo already provides. So we start the game mode, and as you may already know, the default controlling for the soldier is done by the player itself. I can walk around with some first person shooter like movement, and there's also already some collision activated such that I cannot walk through trees or lamps, for example. And the goal for our AI will now be to get an own optimized representation of the environment to avoid these obstacles when walking around in the scene. So let us go back to the editor mode and start by importing the exact map package. So we open the assets menu and choose import package, custom package. To speed up the things I have already copied the default installation path into the clipboard. And choose the package import import everything. It takes some time and as soon as it is finished we can start choosing our input geometry for the NavMesh build and for the scenario these are this are the game objects fences Forest, lamps, main structures, platforms, rocks, the near terrain, and the trees. And we choose the exact map, map mesh surface component. We add it to the selected game objects in order to mark them. For the NavMesh build, and as uh, the next step, we open the NavMesh window. I'll dock it down here, and it has two subviews the build and the MISC view, and in the build view, up here the advanced tab. So we deselect the auto value and because we slightly enlarge the cube size parameter to speed up the build time for this tutorial and we go into this uh, into more detail on this on in a later tutorial then we choose to build The enough mesh and wait a few seconds until the generation process finishes. That's it. And the nav mesh is now displayed as a blue transparent overlay. And as you can see, the obstacles on our map are already cut out. 
with some space around them. Yeah, um, that's basically it for the first part. Thanks for watching and see you in part two. Bye.